Welcome back everyone. Today's video is on the outcome of the US elections. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a um, disclaimer of sorts if you like. <laughs> First of all, I am based in Australia, so um, this is not really relevant for me. And I'm saying that because in a sense I'm hoping that because of that, um, like I don't have any real inclination either way for who wins. Um, my personal comment on the matter, without going into too much um, detail, because it's a tarot channel, not a political commentary channel, but I think that, um, I don't think that either options are that good for the um, United States at the moment, and I think that they've got some fundamentally seismic changes um, happening. But, you know, that aside, I do consider the election to be significant because for the last few decades the US has been, um, you know, like a dominant power. And I do say has been, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it no longer is. Um, uh, so, you know, it still has some influence, the outcome of the election, for uh, countries like Australia, who follow the United States, um, unfortunately, at least in the um, neoliberal economic model and a, a few other, uh, a few other um, matters of importance. So, <clears throat> now, the other thing I'm going to say is that... Um, from what I understand, and I haven't been following closely, but from what I understand, people are predicting that it's going to be a very close election between the two candidates. And I am only um, looking at the two parties. I should also put that in part of the disclaimer here. Um, because, as I understand it, they're like the main uh, do uh, dominant parties. The Republicans on one hand and the Democrats on the other. So those are the two that I'm, my reading will be focused on. Um, so, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to draw four cards, okay, and I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it, I have my doubts of whether this is the right way to do it, but that's how I'm going to do it, and we'll see whether, uh, we'll see what comes up. So, the first question is, who will win the US election? I'm going to put the first card down for the Republicans and the second card down for the Democrats. And then I'm looking at the outcome for each of their leaders. The third card is the outcome for Donald Trump. And the fourth card is the outcome of the election for Kamala Harris. Okay. You could say there's no need for cards three and four. Um, for some reason, I just really wanted to see what comes up. And look, it may be that I need to draw extra cards. Uh, if it is a close election, as I've read, as it is predicted, then it could be that, you know, the, the cards that I get are neither um, that positive or that negative for either party. So, but anyway, we'll, we'll see what comes up. So, um, all right. So the deck I'm using is the Morgan Greer. I really wanted a traditional deck. I wanted like a bread and butter type deck for this. I didn't want something too soft or artistic. Um, you know, I wanted like a functional working tarot deck. And to me, the Morgan Greer is like the deck of decks, <laughs> aside from Rider Waite. I, I feel like Morgan Greer is the sister deck to the Rider Waite in many ways. That's just how I see it, you know. Um, so, allow me a few moments. I just want to uh, do a bit of connection with spirit and to take my time um, thinking about the four cards and then we'll get started.
So, <clears throat> the first question was who will win the US election? First card, Republicans. I get the Four of Swords. This is not a card of winning. It's not a negative card, but it's not a card of winning. Uh, it's someone at rest. Someone lying down, someone having a rest after a battle usually because they're wearing the armor. But let's see what the card for the Democrats is. And we've got the Knight of Swords. Jays. Knight of Swords. So... <laughs> This is showing, showing someone in battle. Now, this is interesting. So this is someone who's been in battle and now is resting. And this is someone that is fighting still. While that is not a card of winning in the tarot sense, because there are cards in the tarot that are distinctive winning cards. Six of Wands winning card for me. Uh, most of the Aces are winning cards for me. That's how I read. Uh, really positive major arcana cards like the sun, the magician. Uh, to me, those are winning cards, right? But the four of swords, like I said, it's a card of rest. But look at the relationship here and look how different these two cards are. This is a card of inaction. This is a card of action. This is someone who's been in battle and is now resting. This is someone who's in the battle. They're, they're fighting for something. They're going for something. Okay. So, it's a hard one to say definitely. Um, you know, is Donald Trump, are the Republicans, sorry, this is about the parties, are the Republicans resting because they've won and then they don't need to do anything? Or are the Democrats taking charge with the Knight of Swords here? Because that's what the Knight of Swords does, takes charge and goes for something. Very interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, you gotta love the tarot. Um, I should have said, you know, election readings are notoriously uh, mercurial. At least for me they are. Um, but I also know that for other people they are too. Now, what would be the outcome for Donald Trump? Ah, uh, defeat. Now, this is definitely a card of defeat. The Five of Swords um, is a card of um, defeat. What would be the outcome for Kamala Harris? Oh, the Harfin, she's in charge. Okay, end of story. To me, this, whereas the first two cards, I mean, I got an inclination that this is the card for Democrats. Um, you know, they will have a fight on their hands, basically, they, if they win. And they will win, according to this reading. Absolutely. Uh, it's not like they can just, uh, you know, waltz in. They are not the preferred party for many Americans, uh, for many reasons. Um, I think at this point in the game, and this applies in Australia as well, you know what? The parties initially stood for 40 years ago was no longer <laughs> what they necessarily stand for now, but you know, such is life. But anyhow, um, what I'm getting at here is, I mean, the hierophant for Kamala Harris is, you know, there she is in charge because the hierophant is a leader. The hierophant holds the keys and, and and they are this person is in a position of leadership. Now in the tarot sense that the hierophant is often connected with spiritual or religious um, leadership positions. You know this is the high priest that uh, imparts knowledge and wisdom upon his followers. But uh, in any case, for this reading. Because Donald Trump has such a strong card of defeat, the Five of Swords. You know, some people say, oh, the Five of Swords, yeah, it could be that you're winning at other people's cost and things like that. And I'm like, yeah, my experience hasn't been that with this card. You know, uh, my experience has been when this card shows up, you're going to suffer a blow. And it's going to be an unpleasant one. And it will be one to your ego. <laughs> um... 
as well as you know like just a, a physical personal defeat so that's um, that's what I'm getting um, the card underneath is the strength card which so I look at the card underneath a deck for um, just like a layer that isn't significant in a sense like this is your answer you can't look to the underlying card for your answer but nonetheless the underlying card for me and I've often, often called this the PS card you know when you write a letter and at the end, at the end you put PS by the way you know blah 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 and it's kind of like giving you just an extra layer of information that sometimes is valuable or sometimes adds a bit of depth to the reading or just you know a little bit of extra and I think for me the strength card in this reading talks about um, that it's such a monumental battle and it's it is a testing time for both candidates um, there's a lot of force uh, or there's it's so much rides on the selection um, and like it's not an easy election right it's not a walk in the park I mean elections never are for either candidate but usually one is certainly more dominant or permanent um, but in this case it's I think and I think that the whole election requires a lot of strength on for on behalf of the American people to um, <laughs> to not give in and act um, in unsavory ways I'll put it that way okay because there are people there's talk of um, you know civil unrest and you know all those sort of things that brew, are brewing um, as the American Empire is rumbling through its, um, you know, crisis of um, where where they are really. Um, but that's a that's a different topic. I'm going off course. So anyhow, um, look, I'm going to summarize it here very quickly. Um, to me, this shows that the Democrats are going to win. It shows that Kamala Harris will be the president, and um, but. Remember, when I asked the first two cards, I asked what is the outcome of the U.S. election for either party. And, <clears throat> you know, this is an outcome. I'll, I'll bring this up so you can have a look. I haven't got my light on, which I normally do, but I don't. I haven't set it up yet. This dude is in battle. He is in battle. Look, he's got blood on his sword. There's a tower or, or castle on fire. So the outcome is not going to be an easy outcome for the Democrats. I don't see it that way. Like, yeah, they'll, they'll win. But there's, there'll be a lot of uh, work for them. But they'll, they'll have to keep on battling or perhaps be in defense. Maybe he's on the defense here. Um, but all, all we know is that this dude isn't resting he's he's got lots of stuff to face up to all right that's the outcome of the um, election for the democrats and um yeah so that's um it's an interesting reading i love tarot for the way that it um you know the way it speaks this language of uh, oracular divination and in particular, the very first reading, which can be cryptic in many ways, but I think that the answer is there, absolutely. Um, like, you know, who will win the election? And this person still standing, you know, they're still standing in battle and going for something, charging for something or defending something. Whereas the Republicans, um, the Four of Swords in the traditional Rider Waite Smith shows the soldier lying down on a bed and he's put his sword down, uh, you know, he's he's resting. Um, it's often a card of healing, a card of rest, a card of recuperation. Um, certainly not like a winning card of victory. Um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, so I'm, I shall conclude my reading here. Um, for those of you in the US, I, you know, I welcome your comments uh, respectfully, please. Um, I know it's a very contentious 
debates and a very contentious election. Um, and like I said, I'm in Australia and we've got our own <laughs> issues to deal with over here. Um, but I do consider the US election significant. Um, I still consider the US to be a significant power, um, although by no means the main dominant power in the world anymore. And I think that's why there's just so much, um, so many challenging aspects to this election. So anyhow, that's my two cents on the US election. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for supporting my channel. And until my next video, take care.